Hey everyone, I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. And welcome back to my channel and to Khao Sok National Park here in Thailand, where we are trekking deep into the jungle because something very rare and very exciting might be happening. Yeah, when we arrived last night, we heard a rumor and we got in touch with a local guide and he said, yes, and I can take you there to see it happening. So, fingers crossed, the rumors are true. You see, this area is home to a very special type of flower called Raphalesia kerii. And Raphalesia just happen to be the world's largest flowers. But although they're enormous, they're extremely rare because they grow on a specific type of vine. It takes nine months to develop, and when they do bloom, they only last for about five to seven days. So if we do see one, we'll be extremely lucky. <laughs> Made it! <laughs> this is our guide, Norm Hello. Do you think we'll be able to see it today? Yeah, for sure. How certain? Sorry. Out of 100? A few percent. 9900. 9900. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, no flower though. So, this is an area where a Raphalesia flower has been before. However, at the moment, there's nothing here. So either mm -hmm. it's already bloomed and gone, or perhaps yeah. we won't see it this year. We will check the next point. Right. Yeah. Let's keep checking. <laughs> <laughs> Trust I've Greg to find a swing. I've always wanted to be Tarzan. <laughs> you look just like Tarzan. <laughs> So we're at the place where the rumours said there was a blooming Raphlesia, but there's nothing here. There is nothing here. Wow. What do you think our chances are now? Huh? How are our chances out of 100? Percent? Yeah. <laughs> now 80%. <laughs> now 80%. All right, on we go. What's happened? You got it? I see some monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I see the flower, the big flower. Big flower oh, yeah. come on, yes. Just as we thought all hope was lost, um, our guide thinks he spotted a Raphlesia in bloom, so yeah. it might just be around this corner. <laughs> now, Raphlesia wow. can. Where, 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 where? Hey, welcome to big flower. What? What? High five. Yeah, did it Raphasia flower? Real. Yeah, the Raphasia is the biggest flower in the world. Yeah. Wow. Look at what? that. It's like someone has molded it out of plasticine yeah. and just plonked it in in the jungle. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so rare. So rare. Wow. Raphalesia flowers all have these five red lobes. That's the bit that look like giant petals. And if you look closely, they're covered in yellowy, whitish warts. And then they all have this central disc that's like a huge dome in the middle. And if you look inside it, there are these spiky structures that are actually soft, they're not sharp. And scientists don't really know what they're for. But perhaps the most distinct thing is its smell. Shall I smell it? I dare you. Really? Yeah, I dare you. Oh man. Get your head in. Okay. Do it. I'm competing with a wasp here. Yeah, don't get your nose stung. <laughs> I should say, this, this has been put here by uh, the guides and the rangers to keep it safe. We're allowed to go close as long as we don't touch it. So I'm allowed to <laughs> smell it. I don't want to though. Oh my! Oh, oh. Is that really bad? Oh. <coughs> Is it that bad? <coughs> no way! That is like a combination of like really smelly toilet with like gone off rancid meat. <laughs> Personally, I can't smell it and I'm pretty close. You've got to get close. I don't think I want to. You've got to get in there. You look like you were going to throw up. Are you okay? I'm fine. Go on, you've got to do it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm doing this. Closer. <laughs> oh. 
Told you. It does. It's, it smells like a dustbin, doesn't it? Yeah. It smells like our bins. <laughs> but like really old, two week old bins. Oh gosh. But the question is why would a flower want to smell like rotting flesh? Because if you think about the flowers that you might have in your garden, they smell nice. Well, that's because they want to attract bees and butterflies. And bees and butterflies are important because they help with pollination. But Raphaelesia, they're not pollinated by bees and butterflies. These guys are pollinated by flies. And what do flies like? Rotting meat. So that explains the smell. It stinks. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense really to be very, very smelly because they only bloom for five to seven days. So they want to attract as many flies as possible to make sure they get pollinated. The young one. Oh, let's yeah, see. I will show you for the young. This one. Oh, yeah. wow. <gasps> yeah. That's it. We've just walked down the mountain a little and we can see a Raphaelesia bud here. It's just growing on the root of the vine, but this one's only about two months old, so it's got some way to go. But just around the corner of this tree, there's another bud that we think might bloom in February. I'm gonna get in there. Oh yeah, I see it. Whoa. That's big! <laughs> So this one's about eight months old and I think it's going to bloom in about a month, but there's no way of knowing exactly when it's going to happen. You just have to keep an eye on it. And this, believe it or not, is an old Raphaelesia flower. This was in full bloom about a month ago, so we definitely missed it. And now it just looks like a, a rotten mess. It looks like either like an eye or an <laughs> alien. <laughs> but I think this is a good place to end the video. So I really hope you enjoyed our little adventure for the world's largest flower. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Stay curious. Bye. Bye.